Hello and welcome to the GPTV auction preview. It's Thursday the 16th of May. My name is Gary Peer. And I'm Darren Krongold. Sally Zellman. Thank you, Sally and Darren, for joining me again. In Philip's absence, it's good to have you both right. here. Uh, and we're going to talk about the auctions that are coming up this weekend. Uh, we've got uh, 17 auctions uh, over 12 suburbs, so we're covering a lot of ground. Mm -hmm. uh, but Saturday, you wouldn't believe it, we've got 10 auctions, each one in a different suburb. We are spreading wow. ourselves busy. around Melbourne. <laughs> we're busy, we we're get busy. around, yes. and we're spreading ourselves around Melbourne, uh, and we made a nice big mess on the table with all sorts of brochures <laughs> and, and details. Uh, we start off on Saturday with double auction action at 10.30 a.m. Uh, Darren, we're gonna be in Barclay Street, St Kilda, Jeremy Rosen's auctions. Uh, tell us about this apartment. Yeah, this is a, a great one bedroom, courtyard apartment, one bedroom, one bathroom, one car spot. Uh, looks like a beauty too, and uh, 370 to 400 is a pretty good price range. Uh, same time of the day, Simon Rodolnik auctions an apartment just up the road in Inkerman Road, St Kilda East. Yes, another nice one bedroom apartment with uh, one bedroom, one bathroom, one car spot. Looks like nice a very nice spot there too. Yeah, good, good, spot. Posi good position. Uh, we have, count them, at 11.30. We have, not one, not two, not three, but four auctions at 11.30 uh, on Saturday morning. It's prime Easy. auction time. Uh, the coffee van will wait. No, we're going to go mm. first, uh, but we're going to be in Alexander Street in Bentley East. And I'm looking forward to meeting uh, Avish Prasad at this wonderful property. Uh, this is a fantastic looking uh, property. Of course, it is a town residence. It's got three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, two parking spaces, uh, and that's in a wonderful location. Uh, very excited to be in Bentley East. Uh, Sally, you little beautifully. <laughs> I'm talking about Bewdley. We've got a property in Bewdley Street, Ormond. Yes. Uh, the price range one three to one four three, uh, and I know you've been very involved in this property sale. Tell us about it. This one is a fantastic one. It's got two street frontages for any of those developers out there looking for something special. It's on 697 square metres and this one's going to go so well. We In so. the McKinnon zone and as well. And that's important, isn't it, Sal? Yes. Uh, the Bell on Broadway goes at 11.30 as well. Sal, I know you won't be there. You can't be everywhere. Uh, but Leon Guzenfield is meeting Jeremy Rosen, who does yes. so much in that Bayside area. One bedroom apartment, one car. But it's really good, good, a good apartment, this one. Our fourth auction at 11.30 is being handled by Jack Slater, who's the sales agent and uh, auctioneer there, Leo Samuel. This is an amazing looking property in a great location in Tranmere Avenue uh, and certainly a beautiful elevated apartment. We've got two bedrooms, two bathrooms uh, and one pass parking space. Um, this is really something exceptional. We're excited about it. Uh, we have double um, auction action. Uh, that can be a bit of a tongue twister. So <laughs> uh, at 12.30, we're starting off in Bentley. Uh, I've got the auction honours meeting Leon Guzenfitter at 41 McLean Avenue. Um, and uh, as I used to say in the old advertising, are you on McLean's showing? Uh, well, we'll be showing that McLean and hopefully selling it, working together with Ian Reid. Uh, 41 McLean Avenue, this is a wonderful property. Four bedrooms, two bathrooms, uh, two car spaces in a terrific location. And I know that Glenn Bricker is going to be around the corner in Thomas Street uh, with Philip doing the auction at 167A at 12.30. Darren, take us through this one. Yeah, this is a fabulous townhouse. It was uh, architecturally designed by Cat Design. Um, and uh, this is four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, two car spots. Looks fantastic and I, I hope it goes really well for them. Good luck to the team there. At 1.30, uh, Leon Guzenfitter is jumping over to Caulfield South. He does plenty of work there. One narrow on Crescent is the address and Philip's going to be auctioning. And I think Philip's a very busy boy back on deck doing four auctions on Saturday. Yeah, this is a great house in Narrowam and it was built by MPR Builders. Um, it is a house with four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms and two cars. Uh, it looks fantastic uh, in real and it looks great online and I hope it goes really well. Thank you, Doug. Uh, 16 Foster Street's a great address and so this is a beautifully built town residence. I was there the other day shooting the Bentley Report, Sally, which is like a sister show uh, to this GPTV. Uh, this one's the only auction we've got on Saturday afternoon. It's at 2.30, um, only one at 2.30. Uh, and I know Philip's excited about that, as are the team handling it. Can you take us through it a little? Yes, again, this is in the McKinnon zone, which I think is exceptional. It's three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms and a double car garage. Uh, Sally, uh, yes it is indeed. Uh, Sally, thank you. There's been much noise about the first auction we have on Sunday morning because it's owned by a very interesting couple and uh, now he's involved in, as a physiotherapist, but mm -hmm. he's also one of these 
you know, ma- massive muscle dude who's got an involvement with Arnold Schwarzenegger, if I'm not surprised. Wow. Uh, and that is the property at 34 Oron Crescent um, that you've been involved with, with Arlene. Uh, due to go to auction on Sunday at 10.30 a.m., uh, this is the most incredible property. Firstly, it's incredibly well built. It's in a great location. Uh, love the pool. The home itself is so quite unique. extraordinary. Uh, for those who are watching GPTV all the time, you will see that we interviewed Tegan Cunningham there uh, last Thursday, which was great fun. Um, what is she think? She's an AFLW. <laughs> well, she, she was sitting like we are here, and we're looking, and there's a moose. Yes. Uh, a, moose, a zebra. Zebra. It's a zebra. It's a zebra. It's a zebra. It's a zebra. And I did look at the other side of the wall to see if his body was there, <laughs> just in case they built the house around the zebra, maybe. Uh, but um, that's... That's a, a kiss mania. It's got the kiss mania. It's, it's got incredible. all this incredible, uh, mm. yeah, incredible kiss mania. You've got nothing better to do on a weekend. Should just come and have a look at his house. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I agree with you. Uh, it's That's going to be exciting, and that's on Sunday morning at 10.30 a.m. Uh, we've got three options on Sunday morning at 11.30. One of those auctions is 269A uh, Balaclava Road in Caulfield North. Uh, now, Darren, you've been involved in this property. Why don't you take us through it? Yeah, this is a great great home. Uh, it's look overlooking Caulfield Park and is just an, uh, a sensational home. So this is three bedroom, two and a half bathroom, two car spots, which is basement, uh, locked up downstairs and it's on its own block. Uh, it's quite unique. And uh, it's, uh, we hope the, we wish the vendors well and we hope to get a great result. We sure do. That's part of our triple auction action at 11.30. Uh, one of the other properties making up that triple show is this property in Princess Street, St Kilda, that Lemoore has been handling in Jeremy Rosen's auctions. Takes for itself. This one's looking really good. It's a, a two bedroom, two, two bathroom and one car park, but it's got a fabulous looking balcony on there as well. Uh, Snowden Avenue is a great street. We have an apartment situated at 2 at 19 Snowden Avenue. Lior Samuel meets his brother Aviv there uh, for an 11.30 auction. And that looks pretty affordable around that four, you know, sort of mid fours, maybe into the high fours. Um, sounds like good value. 39 Bandera Road. Now this is a property that Leon Guzenfit has been handling. Um, it's again a wonderful location, exciting property. Um, tell us a little bit about it, Darren. Sure, that's a great home in South Caulfield with four bedrooms, two bathrooms and two, two car spots. Um, and uh, I'm sure this home will go well. I've heard quite a few people talk about it, so um, hopefully I'll get a really good result on Sunday. Pass, uh, that is part of our double auction action at 12.30. Uh, we're also gonna be in Filbert Street. I'm auctioning for Glen Bricker, this terrific property that was, uh, it looks like a very 80s feel about it, but I remember when the owner actually bought it. Um, so then the owner's been there for a long time, and I think they either bought it from me or from the company I was working at, but uh, this is a great looking property with beautiful vaulted high ceilings. Um, it's in a wonderful location. Very, very close, of course, to the actual corner of um, Bamber Road Bamber. and Filbert Street. Uh, it's a great spot. It's a good looking property, and we're very much looking forward to that. Curtain is being brought down early on Sunday at 1.30 p.m. Sally, 25 Ontario Street. Uh, now, this is a home that you and Darren have been involved with. Uh, Darren, why don't you tell us a little bit about this property because it is an absolute ripper, and I'll meet you there while Philip does the auction, and we'll all be there together. Sure. Well, this home is sensational. It's in the Golden Mile in North Caulfield. It's a west-facing block. It was built in 1974. It's solid brick. Um, and the owners have been there for quite a while, and a couple of years ago they d- embarked on a renovation which is just nice and beautiful, and uh, everyone's loved it. And the, the floor plan, the, the area of living is just sensational. It's large and spacious. So we, we, we've got, had a good campaign there, and we, uh, we're quietly confident we'll have a good result. So that's a big wrap for the auctions of the weekend. What about the footy? Who's the bombers playing this week? Not you know? talking footy. <laughs> not talking footy. We're not talking, talk, you know we're we're not if, talking if footy. If you don't talk footy, I won't talk footy either. <laughs> There's no uh, footy. And Phil, I Phil, definitely Phil, won't be talking footy. Uh, because Carlton leads them. But Philip, you know, I think they got up by one point at Melbourne. They on the weekend, so he's he's probably you know doing a little he's bit happy. more yeah. of a hula dance yeah. over there in the uh, bar or whatever <laughs> dance it is that Balinese does. Maybe it's a Balinese uh, jig or something. But anyway, he's uh, going to be joining us next week back on the program. Thank you, Sally, uh, and thank you, Darren, thank for you. wrapping up the auctions of the week. It's a busy weekend with some really good offerings. Again, you know, 17 auctions in 12 suburbs uh, brings us back to another busy weekend. We like being busy on the weekend. We, we don't work it. on the weekends. Be busy, eh? No, we and, love uh, it. We do love it. So come on out to any of those. Come have a cup of coffee, have a chat, and have a look at what's going on in the property market because it's going to be interesting with the election weekend. We're going to be auctioning while the election's going to be uh, on. And, of course, uh, on Sunday when we have either a new government or the existing 
one we'll be interested to see what goes exactly. on stay tuned we'll keep bringing all the news on GPTV I'm Gary Peer. I'm, I'm Sally <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I like that yeah. uh, I'm Gary Peer. <laughs> I'm Darren Krongold I'm Sally Zell and we stuffed up that exit but that's okay <laughs> we'll look forward to seeing you next time thanks bye for now